The rubber brake lines, red arrow, connect a hard line from the ABS pump to the caliper and are often responsible for poor brake performance. As the car ages, the rubber begins to break down and can clog the lines, leading to a very little pressure getting to the calipers. The brake lines should be renewed if they are old or if you are having problems with your brakes. The required tool is an 11mm flared nut wrench that fully wraps around the brake line. If you use a standard wrench, then there is a high chance of rounding off the corners and permanently damaging the hard brake lines. The flexible rubber line connects the hard line, yellow arrow, and then runs down to the caliper, red arrow. Separate the hard line connection by using an 11mm flared nut wrench on the hard line connection, red arrow, and a 17mm wrench holding the rubber line, yellow arrow. The rubber line should be held firmly in place by the connection, but put a 17mm wrench on it just to be sure. These fittings are not very strong and will become stripped if you don't use a flared nut wrench. The other disastrous thing that can happen is the fitting can get stuck to the rest of the hard line. The fitting is supposed to turn and rotate on the end of the line, but sometimes it becomes too corroded to break free. When this happens, the fitting and the line will usually twist together and it will break the line in half. Be careful when you are removing this fitting to make sure you are not twisting the line. This photo illustrates the end of the hard line. You can see the flare on the end of the line, yellow arrow, that fits into the rubber line. The connection nut, red arrow, is made of a soft metal and can be stripped easily. The rubber flexible line connects to the top rear of the caliper. Use a 14 mm wrench and remove the line, red arrow. It is much easier to remove the connection at the hard line first as the line will twist and bind if you try and remove it from the caliper while still attached to the hard line. The rear lines are the same connections as the front. Removal is similar. Installation is the reverse of removal. You must now fully bleed the brake system before driving the car. Do not make any attempt to drive the car without fully bleeding the brake system. Please see our article and video on how to bleed your brakes by following the link at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.